Isn't it interesting that in this country, like growing up playing music and dancing is an unusual it's thing? It's an to unusual do? thing, yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, this is a big part of what exactly. I do in, in my work life is educating people that like playing music and dancing is something that all people do for all time. Human beings do. Like there's a um, there's a community in uh, Southern California or Central Coast, Los Osos. All the residents were in a big feud over their sewage system. <laughs> and a friend of mine who lives there started a concert series yeah. with like a potluck beforehand. And before you knew it, they'd worked out all their stuff. Because really, right, he yeah. got everyone to come and eat together and play music yeah. and enjoy the scene. What a novel idea. <laughs> Old as dirt. So it's three parts. Okay. So it starts with um So I'm going into that. It's got like a seven C chord. Seven chord, yeah. yeah.
he got us banjo lessons. Actually, John Cohen was staying at our house. Really? And I can picture him sitting on the couch and saying, you girls should learn the banjo. And the next thing you know, my dad found someone to give us banjo lessons who happened to be Bob Carlin. Yeah. And the thing I'm so grateful for is that my dad only wanted to get one banjo yeah. for the two of us to work on, which is why playing music is the only thing I do right-handed. <laughs> because oh. I'm left-handed in every other way. I can't. Yeah. I don't know why an instrument needs to be left-handed, because you're using, you're you have to have metal. facility in both hands. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, left, left-handed left people are clumsy enough without, you know, being a, an outlier on the instrument front, so. Awesome, thanks, Mark.